online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads from over 200 countries and your number one source in after-show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hey everyone, and welcome to After Buzz TV Spotlight On. I'm Heather Joy Smith. I'm Jason Eichler. And today we have the Stafford Brothers with us, Matt and Chris. Oh, wow. And then you, There's you a lot more people audience. in here than I thought. It's crazy in here. <laughs> crazy audience here today. <laughs> and they are international DJs from Australia. So welcome to Los Angeles. I know you guys said you've been here a couple years now. Yeah. But let us know how you guys got involved with being DJs. Well, well we yeah. Start, yeah. At, the very beginning. start at the very beginning. Right, way back. <laughs> uh, we sort of lied to get our first gig. Uh, we used to go to this nightclub every week. Um, and the opportunity came up that uh, someone had stolen some stuff, uh, like the DJ b before us. So he got fired. The opportunity came up. We lied, said we were amazing DJs. And uh, they basically gave us the job. And uh, we went from there. That's not a bad beginning. No, <laughs> yeah. not at all. Because you guys right now have a new song out with T.I. Yeah. Just came out last week, I believe. And you guys are having the... Uh, music video uploaded to Vivo, as you guys said. Yeah, yeah. It should be yep. coming out pretty soon. But we have a sneak peek of this video that we want to play a little clip of real quick cool. here. No It's exciting. Ah, I love it. Yeah. So for people that know about like EDM music and stuff, they don't necessarily know how it all comes together. Yeah. Do you guys write like the hooks too, or you just come up with the beats? Where does the, the whole process? Yeah, we're definitely the beats, and we we work with, you know, we do a lot of our own singles just as as the Stafford Brothers. But um, last year we had a really big single with Little Wayne and Christina Milian, um, and so. We were sort of going down that format again of, of doing pop radio stuff more. And that's why we got like T.I. and Ava Simmons okay. on this record. So similar format. and um, But yeah, we're definitely the beats. They, they write the hooks. And you guys are um, rep by Cash Money Records. How did that partnership come about? Um, well, that was the last single. This single is actually on, on a different label. It's on okay. BMG. But yeah, the first single was on Cash Money. Wayne's on Cash Money. Christina's on Cash Money. So that made sense. <laughs> did you guys? Cash money. Yeah, did you guys know them from before then, or how'd no, that work? No, um, it's our management. Uh, like one of our managers manages T. R. Uh, sorry, uh, does manage T. I. But also Little Wayne. So okay. that was the connection there. Um, but we met Christina out a couple of times. But yeah, it, it just sort of came through our management. Yeah. So do they approach you with a track and then you put beats under it, or you say like, way we have the beats, yeah. right a hook? We the yeah. Beats. Although we, we, we got the beats. We, <laughs> do, we do work with a group called The City as well, and and yeah. they're, they're really good at production and, and writing and writing the vocal hook. So, I mean, Ti, we had already got Ava on the record, and we just sent it to Ti. Ti was like, I love this. Let me do my thing, and so he just that's all him you know so he wrote his own lyrics too wayne did the same yeah so, so yeah. yeah the rappers usually come up with that stuff and then our side will come up with the vocal uh like the female probably vocal. do you ever have like critiques like no i don't like this line or absolutely yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you make you make little wayne change it oh no 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 wayne. <laughs> the beginning until it gets to them yeah, yeah. No, I mean, but to be honest with the last two songs like like when they send it, we were like, oh, mate, they've nailed it. So, I mean, we didn't have to, I guess. They are that good. Yeah. You know what I mean, so <laughs> they, they are where they are because they are that good. Where do you guys find, you know, your influences to write your your beats to your music? Well, yeah, I mean, 
there's so many different uh people like club records you know it's just what's what's going on at the moment like we listen to a lot of music every week um, driving here we're listening to like, on the radio and you're, you're just like, getting talking ideas. about a song so yeah yeah it's, it's no like one inspiration thing but for us it's always got to make the dance floor move you know you're not really going to hear any chilled stuff from us so yeah it's got to rock <laughs> in a, a club party. because we play in a club four or five nights a week you know what i mean mm-hmm. when did you first realize you sort of wanted to get into the edm dj scene it was that was what we did straight away yeah straight okay. away so it's always been like um grew yeah, up I mean, with we... rock play guitar he plays piano like grew up with that sound but we we went to a few raves and stuff and i don't know it's just like people often ask me that what drew, drew you to it it's just like that's the sound of music that i like so that okay. was the path that i went down you know it wasn't like that's pretty cool i'll do it it's just like if i get a song i get goosebumps like it's definitely what's working for me you know but i guess like america's just sort of yeah. catching on yeah. to it so we've had it We're for a, a while behind Australia, yeah. so <laughs> I mean, that music's been around for us for a while. So. We used to tour Europe all the time and stuff, and we'd come to America and we'd stop in like two cities, like Miami and New York, you know, and then you'd go on to Europe. So it's, yeah, the scenes here has finally caught up. Are you afraid because you even hear like EDM influence on the Disney Channel now? Are you? Are you <laughs> I haven't been watching the Disney yet. Channel, I'll be neither, honest. Neither have I. Um, are you afraid that it's going to become too mainstream and then it must be uncool? No, because it's like anything like you could say that about hip hop you could yeah. say that about country even you know like mm-hmm. every genre becomes commercial um and that's great for for this for that style but the artists will always keep making what they want to make and i think as long as you're doing what you love mm-hmm. then who cares we we're even talking about it today trying to figure out sort of where to go like the next sort of sound you know what i mean um because it is everywhere that it, the edm sound as everyone calls but, it but you know so. it always goes back to the underground too like you've got those mm. techno and all that that's where it really started you yeah. know what mm-hmm. i mean and that's still huge and we love that too so i mean for us yeah no w- you know what? It's made us able to live in America and tour this country, so I'm really happy where it is. Now, you guys have worked with some pretty big names already. Who would you guys like to work with next? Pharrell. Yeah. yeah. We've said Pharrell. Jay-Z. 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 Yeah. That'd be pretty Love cool. Jay-Z. That'd be cool. Pharrell and Jay-Z on a record. That'd be right. <laughs> that would be awesome. Be <laughs> yeah, let them know. <laughs> I'll call them up after this. Thank you. <laughs> is there anyone that you guys are currently working with that you can kind of spill to us? Um, we are working with some, a couple of Australian artists, um, and... We're actually, yeah, we're, we're just, just getting the rapper on. Got the rapper, oh, yeah. this American rapper who's pop right now in America. Um, looks like we've got him on the record. So that's really exciting as well. But I mean, we can't really, I never like to say we like to deliver. Yeah. Okay. When like is that. your record going to be hitting the um, stores? Well, obviously this single's just hit um, here on iTunes. The video clip comes out within two weeks. Um, and then I think the next record will be towards the end of the year, our Australian summer, basically, going mm-hmm. into the Australian summer. Okay. Your winter. Yes. Right. Oh, we'll come with you to Australia. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys were saying you play like four or five shows a week. Since you are a duo, if one of you gets sick or something, do you still have to just like suck it up and go on? Yeah. Damn I right. d- just uh, like a couple of weeks ago, I got food poisoning. Oh. And that was hell. Oh, no. um, it was basically, you probably don't want to hear all the details, <laughs> but um, it was like, it was actually a subway. Uh, I had a meatball sub at like four in the morning. <laughs> We're gonna get sued now, bro. Yeah, and uh, we might you... get some money from somewhere. You know? <laughs> They'll send you gift cards later. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, and then I woke up the next day, and it was just it was hell. And then I had to go to Vegas, and I was on the plane. Uh, I've never used a sick bag on the plane that I was using as we were taking off and everyone was just looking at me. It was hell. Uh, and then went to bed and then that night I just had to suck it up and yeah. get up there. And Pretty much, yeah. With us, it's like... Do well, it. I even DJed once with a broken ankle. I, oh, wow. I was on a chair, but like, <laughs> yeah, well, it's sort of like you just got to tough it out because people come to see the Stafford brothers. Yeah. So there's two of us. <laughs> and um, we have done shows individually, but... Um, it's not, not the same it's not the same and you know we, we like to make the show if, if someone was that sick that you couldn't do it one of us would still do it okay. now when you guys are doing your shows together do you guys have like you do a certain thing at the DJ booth and then you do something or do you guys kind of flip flop how does that work flip flop um, yeah <laughs> I, uh, I do a lot more of the uh, mic work so I'll get out in front of the crowd and on the microphone sort of the hype, of a hype, mm-hmm. man. hype man and then so Matt plays a lot more 
Uh, he's definitely music. out the front more. Okay. Um, yeah. Touching the ladies. So, yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> ladies' not man. Again. <laughs> and what's this like big kangaroo that we see yes. floating around? The yeah. party kangaroo. Um, That's mate. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That, that was just an idea because being Australian, um, it was sort of an idea. Let's bring in the, our sort of Aussie invasion to America. And we did a tour and we brought a guy who was like a freak dancer and everything. And it just sort of, it just worked, you know, it was sort of like a silly joke. Let's bring a kangaroo. And then it was like, no, nah, that's, that'd be stupid. Let's just try it. People just love him. And he's also a brilliant performer. So it adds to the show, you know, he's just crazy. He's out there dancing. And- Helps me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> An extra hype, you know, and then also we've got these blow up kangaroos uh-huh. that we throw out. So people love them Yeah, people well. fighting over them. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, what? it's branding, but it's, it's definitely what we're about. We're, we bring the party, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and... Yeah, that, it just adds to the whole show. Now, were you guys close growing up? Yeah. 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 The whole family is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no fights. No fights. No, oh, yeah, like when you're young. Young, but not not anymore. No. Yeah. He'd get hurt. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the same thing, but then we might fight, so. Yeah. No, I mean, it's just, I think for us, we're really lucky we do get on. You, you get, everybody's like, I'd kill my brother yeah. if I was on the road with him. But um, we just know when to... Uh, Pull step back, back yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and it works you know it's good fun you know we're, we're traveling the world together you know and sometimes it is just the two of us and a lot of times djs are just by themselves and you know like we go to crazy cities and if you're there by yourself you probably wouldn't go out and do yeah. things you yeah. know so we always we definitely try and do things like the other day we went to like niagara falls and things like that like yeah. if you're by yourself you probably go well you know what? i'm just gonna stay at my hotel i'm not going all the way to niagara falls by myself so yeah it's just things like that it's 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 definitely a bonus have you guys ever fought over the same girl uh no <laughs> no comment on that say something else this is where she says don't say that but um i've got I a remember, girlfriend right I remember, now yeah matt's girlfriend actually we used to um we have a clothing label like years ago and we um we used to get it made at this place and she was on the wall uh as one of the models so we used to go oh who, who's that hot chick and uh i guess matt, i got her matt got her in the end oh. so he, ah. does she have a sister she does that's awesome keep it in the family yeah, keep yeah. it in the family <laughs> yeah that's perfect <laughs> <laughs> so what's the response been like because you guys are huge in Australia obviously and a little lesser known in America definitely what's that process sort of like and what's the response been like since you've been here it is a, it's a definitely a hard thing because obviously if we're in Australia a show's gonna be rammed and everybody knows who you are and like just this weekend we played we played three different shows we played in Vancouver Banff yeah. Canada and somewhere else in uh, Phoenix Phoenix so um, we were like and Banff has a lot of Australians there because it's that snowboarding and all that. Mm. And so that crowd would just like, it was like playing at home, you know, mm. and they were just going crazy. And then we're definitely building in, in, in America and places like Vegas, LA, you know, we, we've definitely built up a solid following and, and it's it's great, you know, but definitely when you go to like this weekend, I know we're in Kansas City and mm. I don't know if anyone will know, you know, has our music touched Kansas City yet? Uh-huh. We've never performed there, that's for sure. So... That side of it's definitely different. It's 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 a it's a journey. What's one venue or festival that you guys haven't been able to play yet, but would love to play at? Uh, Coachella. Coachella. Yeah. I love yeah. that. I like that. Yeah. It's very cool. Um, I think it's just a well-run festival as well. Like we've had the opportunity to go backstage, everything like that, and they just look after like the VIP tickets. Just even the general admission, like everything is just run really well. Yeah, it's a great festival. EDC um, Vegas. We went. Yeah. We've done EDC like Mexico oh, okay. and mm-hmm. stuff. But we went to EDC Vegas this year. We didn't actually perform. And that main stage was just like, I That's think so, they said it was the biggest in the world. Or something. It, I, it was so massive, but I'd love to be on that stage as well. We so. actually just did Tomorrowland in Belgium. Oh, that, wow. was that was amazing. That amazing. So awesome. that's cool. So, so we're guys, ticking them off. Yeah. yeah. And you guys used to have a TV show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you ever consider returning to TV like for a reality show in America or anything? Yeah. Like I mean, we'd sure. think about it. It's just like, um, <laughs> it's, it's so much work. You know, you don't, like we've had a lot more musical success once we stopped doing the TV show again because hmm. there was sort of like two to two, three years where you were filming so much that, you know, you'd normally be in a recording studio and it was kind of funny. We stopped the show and then we had like a triple platinum record after that, which would have <laughs> also contributed from the show, you yeah. know, people knowing who you are and stuff. And I think, you know, for creating awareness for America, absolutely, you know, we definitely look at it. Okay. You guys are the next Kardashians. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, <laughs> when you say that, it's like, uh, 
I'm no. saying that. <laughs> yeah, they're going to write that show. <laughs> they are going to write that show. Tell us a little bit about your guys' radio show. It's fun. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's called uh, Something Big. Uh, yeah, so it's it's every week. We get a, a guest artist on basically to take us through three of their tracks. So it's not like a mix. They don't do a mix each week. So we just choose three of their tracks, explain the process, like how, how it sort of came about, if they did collaborations or in the studio. And it's just a good insight into, you know, it's something a bit different, what other people aren't doing. Yeah, and, and for us, it's... It's kind of funny. I think we've done a lot. It's been going for a while now. Yeah. And, and when when you hear the original one to where you are with it now, it's also like, you're like, I'm definitely getting better at this. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm. yeah, it's good. It's good. It's it's just good fun. And, and it also allows us to push artists that we like and, and support people's music that we like. So, it's, it's good. Is there any artists you want to plug now that you're listening to that nobody knows about or that are really big that you're fans of? Well, I, Trumpet? Yeah, Timmy Trumpet's an artist from Australia that we've worked with a lot. Um, okay. and, and him, Joel Fletcher and Will Sparks are three Aussies about to come to America on a thing called the Bounce Bus Tour. So they're like three of our mates from back home that are, you know, really starting to kick some big goals and they're about to hit America. So I'd definitely shout them out. Was there anyone who you guys felt kind of helped mentor you along this way? Um... We've been pretty. We do it ourselves. Do it ourselves. You know, yeah. ourselves. And, like there's definitely yeah. been people who have supported us, um, but we're we're definitely done a lot of this ourselves. Okay. You know, we've take and I guess people like Timmy is someone we're bringing them on a path that we've been through. So it's it's yeah one of those things. I think we've knocked down a lot of our own doors to get there. Yeah. Is there any artist you'd like to emulate their career? I mean, we always like the Swedish house mafia I always like this okay. individually as well um, yeah. they were always you know someone you could look up to like they they were killing it you know what I mean absolute and, uh, leaders you know and then yeah. you got guys like Martin Garrix who's like 18 years old who's just going I'd like bananas. to be younger again yeah <laughs> I'd like to be Martin Garrix right now yeah, yeah. yeah honestly killing it so yeah I mean yeah those are the sort of people that you know you can look up to now you guys have an agency 360 agency do you guys um have you know other edm artists that you guys have on your absolutely agency? Yeah. yeah i mean people in america would know like havana brown oh yeah and mm-hmm. um hook and sling like people like that phoenix paul like they're mm-hmm. all on our agency so i guess yeah we've had a lot of uh we've been in the industry for a while you know we used to own nightclubs we own the agency so we've we've always sort of tried to do things within the music business and, and also to be able to support and push people through. So yeah, it's it's a great agency for us in Australia. Yeah, sure. So for EDM music right now that we're hearing on Top 40 Radio, what would you say is the most annoying or overused thing that you <laughs> consistently <laughs> We're just talking hear? about that. The, uh, the one vocal just before the drop, like the, put your hands up. <laughs> Everybody, put the, yeah, Everybody like, do something. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? That's pretty much how it's gone. Like, and everyone's just copying everyone. So yeah. that's what we're talking about. We need, there needs to be something new, almost more so. of a song like yeah. i think when you're saying pop radio then yeah. it is a song yeah but on that stuff like that's just the just the straight up club records it's just like a short vocal yeah. and then a kick like yeah, big kick yeah it's big just sound. yeah so that's boring yeah i mean it, it has got to a point where it, it sort of has become boring because everyone can make that sound quite yeah. easily you know what I mean? you just put your hands up you know what I mean? something <laughs> like that so you're trying to come up with something a bit more with substance a bit know? more musical yeah do you ever draw from like different genres of music absolutely well i guess you know putting these hip-hop artists yeah. on there for sure yeah like we listen to everything so rock like was a big thing yeah we listen in the car and just go to coffee house <laughs> like, you know, like, <laughs> the uh you know we listen to everything so it's uh i think we we, we take uh things from everyone definitely the hip-hop sure. thing is something we're <clears throat> trying to push okay. um mm. that's you know you got a beach who's done country music you know and i remember somebody saying that you should do should country do it, music yeah. and for us country music was put into our heads our whole youth by our father okay. so i basically could never do that because i just hated it so much it was like it just did my head and like so but, but it, it was meant to us, did it, yeah, yeah it was so. years ago and we we're like no way man and then he did it yeah. time for I like mean, a keith urban collaboration that would be yeah. so interesting maybe keith man that guy yeah. guitar is unbelievable yeah. so he like he rocks out yeah he, he'd be that. just just wail yeah, yeah he's sick sure. he is sick do you guys sing at all he can sing. You can sing? Uh, Just a little. little bit, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I haven't sung on any of our tracks, but it's something we've talked about as His well. vocals have been on our tracks, but it's more like yeah. rapping. It's more okay. like, put your hands oh. up. Put your hands <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> it honestly is. So, I mean, yeah. We need to, uh, we need to come up with something new. <laughs> so, now that you guys live in LA, what do you miss the most about Australia? Mum's cooking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Family, for sure. Mates. 
what's the what's your being mom's close meal? Sorry, oh, what's that? Man. Oh, the list goes on. You know meal? what's weird? My mum, my mum's soup. soup. It's quite funny. My girlfriend's cooking mum's soup today because we're <laughs> we're just like hanging out for. Mum's roast. Mum, everything, man. She just yeah. smashes it. Trish the dish, they call her. Trish Aww, the dish. We, we, used, we used to go like every Tuesday and go and see them and just have all our mates over every Tuesday. So yeah. I mean, cool. also I love the beach and, you know, we used to live like 100 meters from the beach. And oh, wow. We lived at Newport Beach for a little bit, but it was just too far from LA. And so we went for a surf last week at Santa Monica and it took us like an hour and a half to get back to L- just to Hollywood and stuff. Fine parking. Was, uh, I was just uh, like, man, nice. you know, that, that side of it, like Australia, you can just roll up to the beach and jump in the water, you know, so mm-hmm. that, and the water's a lot warmer in Australia. So do you guys surf a lot as growing up and as kids? Yeah, definitely, oh, like yeah. more yeah. surf, snowboard, like we've been into it, skate, rugby, rugby, yeah, we, a lot of sport. All of everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fun. Okay, so you guys spend a lot of time together, just the two of you. So we got some marriage counseling questions. <laughs> okay. uh, but it will be brotherly questions. Yeah, so just answer them for each other. So out of the two of you, who's the better cook? Me. Do, yeah, I say Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. All right. I did some good oats this morning. I cooked right. some oats. <laughs> nice. Probably two minutes good. in the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> really good. That's what you do, Great just cooker. add some water. <laughs> you got that water level just right. Yeah, I did, I honestly did. I was happy with my ones this morning. <laughs> All right. Who is most likely to pick up a girl at a show? Chris. Me. Oh. <laughs> well, well ladies, Matt's man. got a girlfriend. Got a, oh, so. that's right. You got a girlfriend. Yeah. So. Before you Before had a girlfriend. Before you had a girlfriend. That was a dangerous time. <laughs> 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 yeah. It was, uh, yeah, we both used to have a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very politically correct answer. Yeah. Most likely to sleep through their alarm clock. Both of us, yeah, a that's... couple of times. Like, well, yeah, it's, it hasn't happened that often, but like, actually, Matt, probably Matt more because I've yeah. had to wake him up a few times. Yeah, so okay. He doesn't know where the hell he is, so <laughs> yeah. I, I wake up quite easily, and if he goes to sleep, he can't get. I can't go get to... to sleep, but once I'm asleep, I'm He's out. out. You're out. So I'm the opposite. I'm like waking up at small little things in the night, yeah, so. and I'm just sleeping through them. Yeah. You guys have late hours though, yeah, so it's, it's kind of yeah. understandable. There's no, there's no hours really because like. You, you might do a show till four in the morning and then you've got to be on an eight o'clock flight or well, something. Straight through. And then the next yeah. night you might not have a gig. So you'll be like, I'm going to sleep for like 10 hours, you know? And then the <laughs> next day you got to get up at six again. Or so. It's just like so random. So <laughs> yeah, you take it when you can. Sleep a lot on planes. Yeah, oh, is that true. hard to do? Oh, mate, no, yeah. it is when there's crying babies. But other than that, yeah. <laughs> I think we've figured it out a bit though, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. We're on so. it so often. So. Who's the messier one between the two of you? Ooh. I like a clean workspace. Yeah. Okay. I'm probably, and you then, know what? If my girlfriend wasn't in the house, it'd be me because <laughs> she's like clean freak. Yeah. I like, if I'm working like in the studio and it has to be clean, but my room probably gets a bit more messy. Come I'd say he's definitely, he's definitely cleaner. Yeah. Okay. Who's more stubborn? Chris. He yeah. does. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. And like, he's the most easy going because okay. I'm, I'm like, yeah, a bit nuts, but, um, <laughs> but, but I'm more terrible. nuts but you <laughs> send him over the edge if it's something Chris doesn't want to do he's never going to do it that's what I'll say right now whereas I'll probably go alright I'll work with you on this yeah. he's like no so, <laughs> yeah. can you give us an example but, um, just even like I, you could say even with music he'll be like what do you think and I'll be like yeah I'll maybe change that and he's like nah that's, that's how it is you know okay. <laughs> but I mean I'll listen to it but I think if I know how it should be it should be but I mean the, this yeah, is just yeah. proving his point yeah <laughs> who's the one that's always wrong who's wrong yeah uh, me when I'm doing directions <laughs> <laughs> the, I'm worst the worst person ever <laughs> with maps I'll, I'll, don't ever ask him to go like, I'll agree with you on that yeah <laughs> he sucks yeah. he'll be like go left here and you definitely should have gone right yeah <laughs> so that probably answers yeah. the last question on that then. note who's the better driver uh, me yeah, Matt. he just popped the tire the other day yeah, yeah. Oh. he sucks well, I swear that curb <laughs> that curb came out of nowhere <laughs> they can get you they just get at you yeah. just like yeah completely so if you guys you're touring and obviously together what happens if you want to like is it in your plan to start a family have kids or do any of that <laughs> nah not at the moment no, no. Okay. I mean my, I've been with my girlfriend for a long time but 
she knows it's a long way off. It's just not, you know what? We'd never. If I had a child, it would see me once a month for like a few hours, and I'd be grumpy, tired, and hungover. It would, you know, it'd be horrible. It'd be horrible. <laughs> like, I hate my dad. <laughs> yeah. Dad is so mean. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You come back, it'd be like five. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> you, you can speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not right. Yeah, so for me, yeah, and definitely Chris, yeah, it's yeah. not happening. I got to get a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. To be honest. <laughs> What are you looking for? We've got a lot of ears listening yes. to this. Uh, for a girlfriend? Yeah, put it out there. Uh, got to have a sense of humor. Got to like me. <laughs> <laughs> got to be used to like uh, him never weird. being there. You got. Yeah. You know what? One thing I think is trust. You definitely got to have trust yeah. because we're just constantly in photos with girls or partying. So it's like... We've had a few girls that get, yeah, a bit antsy about that. And it's like, well, it's, this yeah. is what you came it's in for. Job, you know yeah. what I mean? But yeah, I mean, I'm brunette. I like dark hair, dark okay. features. Blue eyes. There you go. Yeah. Are you on Tinder? He yeah. is. Oh. That guy on Tinder's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> match, match. What's your pickup line you use on Tinder? <laughs> you got to have the right photos. Yeah. We had this yeah, thing. Yeah, have this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a system. There's a system. Um, yeah, our buddy um, Jimmy Fru. I'll, I'll give him a shout out. He said you got to have a, the perfect Tinder profile. You know what I mean? You got to have a sporty picture. Uh, you with like a girl, so you're not like a weirdo. You know what I mean? You're, you're hanging out with a girl. What was the other two? Um, like, a puppy, you like a, oh, yeah. some Pokemon. animal, so you like animals. <laughs> you're, cute. you're cute. And, and then, then one with all your mates, so you're like, you've obviously got friends. Yeah. Oh, that's So you've true. got to have those that's four so all good. Yeah. Boom. That's what we're doing wrong. Match. <laughs> yeah, like, that's why match. we're not getting boyfriends. Match. But I'll tell you, girls, girls should not have photos with other girls because okay. then you don't know they which don't know one it is. Yeah. You know, like, you know, so they've got four photos and it's all with other girls. It's like, well, which one are you? <laughs> and then the next one, next picture is like you with another girl and you're like, which one are you? Damn, Damn it. it. Then you swipe yes and then you show up and you're like, oh, it's a surprise. Yeah. yeah. No, that, <laughs> no, no one you got it right. <laughs> no. <laughs> no one wants that surprise. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were the oh, other I one. I thought you were the left girl. <laughs> Damn oh. it. And you can't swipe in real life. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut the door. Would that be nice? Boom, you're gone. <laughs> so where do you guys see yourself like five years from now? It's a good right. question. Probably, hopefully doing the same. I, I mean, we love it. So, you know, I don't want to slow down. Probably, hopefully not the family thing yet yeah. as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, just doing what we're doing. Shitty dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, I mean, we love what we do, you know. It's like every weekend's like it's our job, but it's good fun. During the week, it's constant work. Like you work seven days a week. Well, we do. Um, but it's just it's fun so it's you know it's like I'm enjoying what I'm doing and just hanging out and having a good time awesome nice. cool well thank you guys for joining us thank today you. it's yeah. been a pleasure meeting you you too, and, too. yeah everybody uh, make sure to go onto iTunes and download this girl damn right yes thank and you. the video will be out soon so make sure to check it out when it is thanks thank everyone thank you and where can we find us. the video and everything on your Twitters Instagrams. it'll just be on the Stafford Brothers okay. just type Stafford Brothers will pop up and all of those things except for Twitter we're Stafford mm. Bros B-R-O-S oh. because it was one letter too long so oh that sucks it really does yeah. suck. it annoys me <laughs> Stafford brother. Yeah. Brother. yeah. Well, we did that. Yeah. And I just was like, that doesn't sound right. Which one sense. is it? Yeah. yeah. And Jason, where can they find you on social I'm media? at Jason Eichler. And I am at Heather Joy Smith. All there right. you go. Perfect. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Tweet me. Tweet me. Tweet me. Tend to me. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here. And be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later. <laughs>